Okay, so I'm going to do a tutorial on how to use uh, save files for both uh, Steam and Epic. Whether you're just replacing your save or trying to transfer it manually, it's actually really simple. So I'm on Steam right now and I've reset my account level to nothing so that you'll be able to see that the save file does indeed work. So for now, you just quit. One thing you want to do is to make sure that your, uh, your Steam Cloud is turned off. And then here, you have to f be in this file path. You will get to this remote folder, and this is where everything uh, is set up. These are all your current save files for the game. And I have a old save, so all I have to do is just copy. Go to the remote folder, which is at this file path i'll have it on screen and both in the description to make it easy and you just paste replace the files and then when we boot the game up we should be able to be back at our max 999 regular save and see we have our max 999 everything and then next all you need to do would be to quit turn your steam cloud back on so you get a cloud conflict, you click on that. Choose your local save, since this is the one that you uh, recently replaced. And then you can just launch the game again. And that's it for Steam. Uh, super simple. I'll pause the video here and list out the steps again. It's not that difficult. So for Epic, it's a very similar process. Uh, I have a level one account again. Back out. You want to make sure, like with Steam, that you have your cloud save turned off for this. So this time you'll get to this file extension. But you can't see this uh, folder thing normally, but if you go to view and then show and then hidden items, you'll be able to see uh, this folder. But it's basically the same thing. Here I have old save file, just copy, paste it into this really long folder ID. There's some other folders uh, nearby, like these, but these are just like backups, so don't worry about them. And once that's done, you can launch the game again. See, I have it max now. So then, all we need to do is go back to our game, turn back on cloud saves, launch it again. You see the local file. And there you go.